That would be a cold front moving in. It's 75 degrees 15 minutes ago, and I bet it's 65 now. Whoa, there's lightning. And a December thunderstorm. How about that? Bye. Well, how's everybody? Well, I'm glad that rain's over with. I was out here in the shop and boy, it came. We had severe weather all around us. Tornadoes popping here and there. Uh, no damage that I heard of. Looked at the news. They just show some trees blowed down the road. That type of thing. Well, it's almost one o'clock in the morning. I had a late nap. Fell asleep in my chair, my recliner. Recliner seemed to do that kind of thing. So I thought I'd run out here nice and cool. It was right about 60, 59, 60. Really cool compared to what it has been. Humidity's starting to drop a little bit, which is the biggest. It's more comfortable than the temperature as long as that humidity stays down. I want to show you a couple things right quick, then we're going to have a no coffee coffee chat. No coffee because I can't have any coffee this time of night. Because uh, when I do go back in a little while, I'm trying to sleep a little bit. But uh, Scott, over in the UK, told you I had one, a drop point knife just like that one. Let me show it to you right quick before I put it in the package. Just like the other one handles a little bit different color, but that's alright. That'll be coming to you. I'll put it in the mail tomorrow. I don't know how long it'll take to get over there, but maybe it won't be too long. That one is yours. Now the other three I listed on on the knife page earlier today. So very quickly, these three here, they are on their way to northeast Florida. I live in northwest Florida, they live in northeast Florida. Those will go out tomorrow morning as well. A couple of things I've got going. These are going to Ohio when they get finished. Got a deal worked up on those. Uh, cousin Tony started the one you wanted. Another special order right there. And that is a surprise for somebody. You'll know who you are when you get it. Little Janelle Skinner got a curved antler point. I mean, antler tip handle. Should work pretty good. But that'll be a surprise when you get it. So. Merry Christmas. Late. Now, the chat part of the no coffee chat. Got a friend of mine, young fella, starting in the, wanting to homestead. I want to raise his own meat and learn how to hunt. He's never been hunting before. You know, never fished a whole lot wants to learn how to do all that kind of thing but the trouble he's having is he's trying to talk about it to his family and people that he knows and he has got the most pessimistic bunch of people around him I've ever seen you know how they are you can't do this you can't do that you got to go to the store and buy your stuff yada 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 and um you know the best thing that I can tell him and I have told him to do is just don't pay any attention to them kind of people don't talk to them at all about your homesteading and this type of thing. A couple of them even told him, well, you see stuff on YouTube, that's not real. Well, I beg to differ. I'm real. I'm sitting here. Y'all see me do stuff. You know, a couple of my videos, I've done things that didn't work. Some things work, some things don't. Now, granted, there is a lot of junk on YouTube. We know that. And on the internet, period. But anybody with a little bit of common sense can weed out you know, what's real and what's not real. If I'm subscribed to a channel and I watch it regularly, 
I feel like they're real. And the people I talk to, a lot of them I talk to on the phone, you know, they're real people. They do real things. Now, some of the so-called news sites, I look at them for entertainment. I don't believe nothing they say. But that's different than, than the homesteading type videos, I think. But, um, just how many of y'all have had to deal with people like that, pessimistic people? I mean, it just... I knew a guy, I hung around with him for a little while, for a few months, went here and there and talked, and I'd go to his shop and he'd come over here, but he was one of them guys that everything out of his mouth was negative, negative, negative. You can't do this, you can't do that. Well, don't tell me I can't do anything, because that's, you know, you tell me I can't do it, and I'm going to do it or die trying. So, uh, you know who you are, I'm not going to call your name, because, uh, you might not want me to, but just don't pay any attention to them. If you need any advice on how to do something, you know, give me a call or come over here and talk to me. If I know what I'm, you know, if I know what you need, I'll help you. Be glad to help you. Uh, I've already uh, give you a list of the YouTube channels that'd be good for you to watch. Uh, JNO Zero, BC Truck. If you like to camp and all, y'all ever watch Really Big Monkey with David Pearson? That's a very good channel. Uh, that guy can do anything in the woods with a piece of rope. And when I say anything, I mean anything. He can climb up a tree, way up in a tree, and build a bed and a kitchen, a little table, and put his kitchen up there in the middle of the tree. Now, I couldn't do that, but he can do it. Y'all watch that channel. That's a good channel. And uh, there's, the list goes on and on of, of good, good YouTube channels. Real people, you know, real good ideas. But, uh, and I have ran into the pessimistic part myself. And uh, I made a vow that I'm just, I'm not even going to, I'll talk to them, but I'm not going to talk about my ideas and all this. Because I've lived on this property for almost 30 years. I've had hogs chickens, rabbits, goats, almost any kind of animal. I raised worms at one time. Uh, almost any kind of animal you can think of we've raised out here, with the exception of horses and cows. Now I've got enough room for horses and cows, but I'm, I don't have the energy and, you know, one of them gets out, you got to chase it down and all that, and I, I ain't into all that. And we do have a local cattle farm up north of town where they raise their they birth their own all their own cows you go up there in the springtime and you buy buy a calf you pay for it then and then when it's raised and it gets to the size you want they do the butchering the cutting the wrapping the freezing and all that now it's expensive but you know what you're getting you're not getting something from walmart that's um pump full of hormones and all the stuff they put in there and I saw a news article again today that the US has now stopped meat producers from having to put the country of origin on meat and that includes fresh meat like you get Walmart I think it's the biggest culprit <coughs> pardon me see there we go again but um it just makes more sense to me to shoot what meat I can, catch what fish I can, uh, raise what meat I can here at the house, raise my own eggs. You know, it's a lot of work, but, you know, life is a lot of work. So, um, just do that. Just don't pay them no attention. And if you can, stay away from them. But, anything else? I don't think so. Well, I'm going to take these in the house and get them packed up to mail. Be at the post office in the morning. And I'll be in the shop the rest of this week up till, well not all week, Thursday I think. Thursday afternoon we'll take off back up to the hunting camp. Supposed to have some cooler weather coming in, a little cooler than it is now. Maybe some deer will start moving. Maybe they won't. The rivers up that way are all flooded and the deer can't move back and forth onto our property like we want them to. But we'll 
We'll come up with some meat somehow or another. We still got all of January and part of February uh, to deer hunt. So we'll get them eventually. If not, we'll just have to go up to the cattle farm and and uh, open up the checkbook, let the cobwebs go out of there, and just buy some meat that way. But uh, and two, if you have local cattle farms or chicken farms or whatever in your area, support those people. Don't go to Walmart and buy that stuff. Uh, it just I, it makes me nervous to even think about eating it. That's I don't like to eat out much. Every time I eat out, I get stomach problems, if you know what I mean. And I just, I just rather, rather not see anybody eat that. But at the same time, if that's what you want, that's what you want. So, let me go get these packed up. Thank you for watching. <coughs> Boy, that's irritating. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. We'll see you in a day or two.